What's up guys? Um, I originally wasn't going to do a video for the uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather mega fight that just happened uh, yesterday, but a friend of mine had posted up on Facebook that he was very disappointed that I didn't put up a big rant for my uh, Facebook status about the fight because um, I usually do, but I don't use my personal Facebook account that much anymore, but um, I had went on there to check my uh, Facebook or my Facebook page for my YouTube channel and I saw that that popped up and he said he didn't want to be he was disappointed so um, this is for you Aaron so because you were disappointed that you didn't get to hear my opinion on the fight because I am a huge boxing fan um, I love boxing always have since I was a little kid because when I was little it took me a lot to kind of uh, keep me entertained especially with sports and boxing was one of those sports that really um, uh, kept me kept me entertained um, now I like to watch kind of all sports but um, boxing still remains my favorite um, I even box a little bit in my spare time um, as a hobby because um, I got a lot of hobbies I'm gonna break down and go over what I thought of uh, the mega fight and kinda what's going on with boxing right now so let's get started so first off Floyd Mayweather I hate Floyd Mayweather never liked him and uh, nothing you do would ever make me like him um i would really the fight that really made me that really started my hatred for floyd mayweather was when he fought oscar de la hoya um i be i don't remember what year that fight was in but um that was a fight that made me hate it because um i don't think he won that fight and a lot of people don't think he did either because um it was a really unfair it was a close fight but it was an unfair split decision that unfortunately went to him instead of de la hoya who is more deserving of it. Um, I don't hate him just because he's a cocky douchebag asshole outside of the ring. Um, I hate him because he's got a boring fighting style. He only he runs too much, he clinches too much, and he always gets away with excessive holding. And he's just all around, he's just a shitty human being to me. Um, I don't like him, never have, but like I said, and I never will. Uh, but. Let's go over Manny Pacquiao. Um, for a while, I didn't like Manny Pacquiao either because, again, he, just like Floyd Mayweather, well, unlike Floyd Mayweather, he beat the crap out of Oscar De La Hoya, who was one of, he's one of my all-time favorite fighters, Oscar De La Hoya. And De La Hoya was, he was old out of his prime at that time, so um, that's why um, I didn't like uh, Manny Pacquiao, though, because he really beat the crap out of uh, De La Hoya. But... Over the years, I really started to like him. Um, I saw the way he fought because for a while, I didn't watch boxing. I just kind of got tired of it when Floyd kind of took over and Manny because I didn't really like anybody. Then I started watching again. I realized Pacquiao is a very good fighter. For somebody to make uh, to start out at, I think, um, flyweight and move all the way up to welterweight and still dominate and be as entertaining as power and as powerful as he was, you know, that was really good. And he, I think... And he reminded me a lot of Muhammad Ali with a lot of the stuff he does out of the outside the ring. You know, he's just all around. He's a good human being. He's not a jerk like uh, Mayweather, and he's very humble. So, because these two have so so, uh, their styles are so differently, and they even fought on the same undercard a couple times. Um, this, and they were also the two biggest name and bo biggest names in boxing. I think. You know, even today they are, right? even with how old, when they're near the end of their careers. So, naturally, somebody wanted, people wanted to see this fight happen. These two collide. But the problem with Floyd Mayweather is, and the reason he is undefeated is because the best fight, the big name fighters that he has fought are, were all past their prime. He has never fought anybody at their best. Um, there's a whole list of people that he has ducked throughout his whole career. Um... The Prince Nassim Hamid, I think that's how you say his name. Um, he never fought a prime. Del he never fought De La Hoya. He waited till the end to fight De La Hoya. The towards the end of his career, and De La Hoya still put up a really good fight with them. Um, who else? Miguel Cotto. He waited to fight Miguel Cotto. He um, the only fights I really give him credit for are um, Canelo Alvarez and Ricky Hatton. So. You know, naturally, that's another reason I don't like. I don't like cherry pickers. I don't like people who duck other fighters. So naturally, he ducked Manny Pacquiao. Um, but also, it was a two-way door a little bit too, because Freddie Roach, Pacquiao's trainer, had said that in the first fight negotiations, um, Pacquiao blew it, and 
as throughout the years they there's been attempts to try to get the fight going but Floyd Mayweather was just so adamant about making this fight happen um, because Mayweather is self-promoted he promotes and controls who he fights himself uh, that's not the same case with Manny Pacquiao. He's promoted by Top Rank, which is run by Bob Avery. So for like the past year, this talks of this fight have been really ramping up um, since I think, you know, about 2008 when the original fight was supposed to happen, when everybody wanted that fight to happen. So um, this is mainly because they both fought fighters that were very similar to, e to each other's style. And Mayweather fought Marcos Maidana, who's got a very pressing style and who's, who brawls a lot. You know, kind of like Pacquiao. Um, Pacquiao fought a f Chris Algieri, who runs a lot like Mayweather. And they both... Mayweather had kind of a problem. You know, it wasn't... You know, he barely beat uh, Maidana. It was a very close fight, but... In the second fight, they clear he clearly won. I I heard, but um, with the Chris Algieri versus Manny Pacquiao fight, Pacquiao demolished him. But you know, the Chris Algieri, he's not a very top. You know, he's not a top fighter. So that really made the public start wanting this fight even more. Um, this is what made the public think that Manny Pacquiao can still has it and that he can beat Floyd Mayweather. So. I think a couple months ago, the fight was confirmed, finally confirmed, um, and Pacquiao was automatically the heavy underdog because um, Floyd is still undefeated. He's forty-seven and zero, and the fight was going to take place in Mayweather's um, basically town where he's favored. He's very favored in Las Vegas, um, and two of the judges were going to be from Las Vegas. Also. Um, what else was it? Oh, the ref. Uh, what's the ref's name? Kenny Bayless, I think, was his name. Um, he's very biased. He favors Floyd Mayweather a lot. So the odds were really stacked against Pacquiao in this fight. Even though the crowd was all going to be rooting for him, you know, a lot of f funny things were starting to go on with this fight. And one of the things in the fight that you notice is that Mayweather didn't weigh in that day. And, you know, there is a, you, you could see that there's kind of some fishy things going on because Mayweather basically runs the whole boxing scene in Las Vegas with how much money he has. And he, ba you know, he, that's basically his hometown. So, you know, people are going to be very biased for him in that town. So, yes, like I said, the odds are going to be stacked against Manny Pacquiao. Now, the actual fight itself, um, the fight was surprisingly lopsided. Uh, for my, I thought it'd be a little bit more even. And there was just something about Pacquiao in the fight that didn't seem like Pacquiao. Was that um, he wasn't landing the heavy shots. He wasn't. He was throwing a lot more wild punches than usual, and he just wasn't the aggressive Manny Pacquiao that we're used to seeing. And Floyd Mayweather, of course, was getting away with excessive clinching. Um, the, the ref didn't never said anything to him, and there was just. So it was very, you could tell that this was, the ref was very biased towards Mayweather and he ran, the fight was very boring. Um, I knew, you had to expect that though. This wasn't them in their primes because if this fight happened in 08 or 09 in their primes, I would say Pacquiao would knock out Mayweather without a doubt or at least, or he would beat him. He would at least beat him by points. Um, but for this fight, you know, I expected it to be just a boring regular Mayweather fight, but it was a lot more of that than I ex had expected. So, yes, the fight was born, but luckily the, the undercards were pretty entertaining. So, the undercards are usually better than the main events. So, let's look at what went wrong. Um, sources say today ESPN and a couple other uh, sports uh, and news, whatever, um, it has been revealed that Manny Pacquiao has had a torn ligament or a pinched nerve or something wrong with his shoulder and that he had hurt his hands during training, but he didn't want to pull out because, you know, he knew people were going to be waiting for this fight. And also, he was supposed to get a shot to help him with his shoulder, an anti-inflammatory shot, and Floyd Mayweather's camp made a huge stink about it, and it didn't get to happen. So there you go again. The odds were really stacked against Manny Pacquiao. Um, you got to hand it to him, though, for going out with that kind of those injuries. 
overall though you can you can tell that Pacquiao wasn't you know himself that night you could tell he was hurt for the way he was fighting he wasn't really affecting Floyd Mayweather he had him hurt in one round and I if he would have fought that way the entire fight um he probably could have pulled it off but unfortunately he didn't and we're still stuck with Mayweather as um the number one pound for pound fighter Pacquiao's still number two though um so afterwards, um, I don't Mayweather didn't get a single cheer that night. Everybody booed him. Everybody cheered for Pacquiao. So that says, and everybody's upset that Pacquiao didn't win. So that says that even though Pacquiao didn't win, and you know things like that, Mayweather will never be remembered as you know a great fighter or anything like that. It'll I think he'll always kind of live in Pacquiao's shadow that way. Um, hopefully that bothers him. I hope it does, but. I don't know, when you got that much money, I'm pretty sure not much bothers you. So, yeah, overall, and another thing about Mayweather is that um, he thinks, the, we're going to address a little something else that he said in the coming up to the fight, that he is better than Muhammad Ali. Um, well, let me say something about that. Mayweather is not special. He's not anything special. He's just a big trash talker, and he's been undefeated for too long. Um, he hasn't broken any records. He has not broken Rocky Marciano's undefeated record, which is uh, 49 and 0. If he wins his next fight, though, he'll, which he says will be his last fight, he will, um, he'll be neck and neck. He will be 49 and 0 also. Um, he is nowhere near close to beating Julio Cesar Chavez's winning streak, which is 89 and 0. And the first time somebody put a blemish on Julio Cesar Chavez's record was Pernell Whitaker, which gave him a draw, which means that he was 90-0-1. Um, I believe it was, I forgot who said it, but they said, I think it was another fighter who said, when Duran reaches 100 fights, which a lot of some of the greatest fighters have, um, then we'll talk about him being the best ever. Um, he's never pulled anything off that he was, that's been spectacular, like Muhammad Ali beating George Foreman in the, uh, rumble in the jungle um he's never had any epic bouts he's never really had an entertaining fight um and most fight fans were, will agree with you even people who say that he is good at boxing will agree with you that he's never had an entertaining fight um professional boxers that um i know at the boxing gym i practice at um they say that i mean even they say that floyd mayweather yeah he's undefeated he's a pretty good box he's a pretty good boxer but he's boring as hell and he's cherry picked his way to the top and you know he does not deserve to call himself the best ever so but you know as for the future of boxing um it looks good i mean i think this is really what boxing needed to bring it back into the into the mainstream again it's starting to come back to tv because i know nbc cbs um espn and spike and also true tv have started showing boxing again um, not just no names they're starting to show title fights and they're trying to really bring everything back to TV and not have everything just on pay-per-view and uh, channels like Showtime and HBO so that's great to see it coming back um, we got there's lots of new champions coming up like uh, we got a new heavyweight champion from the United States Deontay Wilder uh, Canelo Alvarez um, Danny Garcia Adrian Broner, who is one of the ones that fans love to hate because he's trying to be the next Floyd Mayweather, and lots of other good fighters. And there's still a lot of good fighters that are left from the Pacquiao Mayweather era. Um, as for Pacquiao in the future, I'm I'm split on whether I think he should fight again, but um, that's up to him. Mayweather, I could care less. Um, I know he won't fight anybody that is good like Keith Thurman because I honestly think Keith Thurman would give him some trouble because he is a good fighter Keith Thurman um, he is one of the holds one of the welterweight belts he's undefeated he just defeated Robert Guerrero on NBC he's a good fighter and he, I think May, he, Mayweather I know won't fight him um, because well he doesn't want to risk de blemishing his record um, I know Gennady Golovkin, Triple G, who holds two of the middleweight belts, wants to fight. Said he's willing to move down to fight Floyd Mayweather because he hates him that much. Um, who could blame him? But I know Mayweather would also not want to fight him because he is also undefeated and has won his last 15 or 19 fights by knockout. So um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, yeah, I had fun talking about it, and I didn't enjoy the fight, but. 
hopefully I'll get my fix with uh, Canelo Kirkland, which is this Friday. Or the next Saturday coming up on May 9th. Um, hopefully that's a good fight. I know it'll be a hell of a lot more entertaining than this fight. Um, I told a couple friends of mine that this fight, that my sparring matches with me getting my ass kicked would probably be more entertaining than this fight. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>